Okay, so I'm going to do a quick uh, movie animation just to go over some uh, common pitfalls that uh, I've been seeing from some students. Um, let's say, for example, you do 4t equals 0, time step 10. And for this example, I'm going to set time step equal to 1. And then in my loop, I'm going to clear the figure. I'm going to plot x comma y, and I'm going to plot a blue dot marker size 20. I need to set x and y. And then I'm going to say, and then I need to move it. So I'm going to say x equals x plus uh, vx times time step. And then y equals y plus vy times time step. All right, and I'm going to, I'm going to make this simple. vx equals 1, vy equals 1. And then I need to draw now. And actually before that, I need to set my axis window. And this looks like since the final time is 10 and my velocity is 1, I'm going to go 0 to 10, 0 to 10. And that should include the ball in the entire window. And then I think that's it. I think we're ready to go. I think I might need to close all, clear, and a CLC up here. Here we go. All right, so that ball moved super fast, right? now. Let's just say, for example, I want to save this. So I'm going to get rid of all this, close all, and I'm going to say m equals function, sorry, function m equals movie test. Okay, and then at this point, you put this over here, you put this over here, and then you say m equals movie test here, bam. Um, and then it says, okay, output argument not defined. So I forgot about that. So then this is what I went over last class. So if you do m of t equals get frame, this will work. Everything is fine. Uh, not, it doesn't like it actually. Subscript indices must either be real or positive logicals. Okay, so this is one example where you might have issues. So notice that in this loop, the first value of t is a zero m of 0, so if I type in m of 0, you're not allowed to do that. If I say x equals 1, x of 1 is 1, but x of 0 gives me the same issue. So that means in this index, I need to make this a 1. So then you go, okay, fine, great, and you come back here and you do movie test, and then you do, notice that it outputted a structure, movie m, so when I do movie m, and you, you couldn't see it, let me close all you can see it plays the movie and everything's fine but say it goes too fast so you change your time step to 0 0.1 and then you run the code again now what happens then it says again subscript indices must be either real or logical so that's because here you have t equals 1 0 0.1 10 which means it's trying to do m of 9.7 which is not allowed so my recommendation to you is if you do this in your for loop Make a frame counter. Create a frame counter. And then, instead of doing m of t, do m of fr, and then do fr equals fr plus 1, which is essentially incrementing the frame by 1. Now when we run this, if I type it in right, we should get the ball moving smoothly. The code runs fine. If I do a close all movie m, there's the ball moving across the screen. All right, everyone. Good luck.